Hi y'all. It's sunshine. Um, I had thought of a great idea while I was sitting in my garage working on my sewing machine. I figured out what the problem was with the machine. I don't know if it's something that I need to really address or not, but when you put the, you flip the thing to go needle down or needle up, it's kind of tough. And, um, but once I flipped it a few times, it seemed to line itself out. So I don't know exactly what I need to do. I don't know. But while I was in there, I had a thought. If y'all remember, or if you're new, you haven't seen this, but I'm making another Texas quilt, okay? And I'm seeing on this one, the red has bled a little bit. So somewhere it has gotten wet and it bleeds. But when I tested the red strip, it didn't bleed. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. But the point of the matter is that these blocks are giant. Um, I think they were 10 inch blocks. Anyway, and they're just plain. Well, I have a really, really nice embroidery machine that was gifted to me. So when Joann's opens up and the world opens up, I'm going to go find embroidery thread for this machine. And I am going to download, because you can download stuff to the machine. Um, I'm going to download the state of Texas um, picture where it's just the outline of Texas and put put blue and red ones in the middle. To, you know, not in the same, not a blue one and a red one. Like one of them have a blue one, the other one have a red one or, you know, whatever. Just a mix of that. I think that's what that block needs. I hate to go to all this work to have it just sit in a cabinet, but the thing, would you please stop? Hi, can you not chew on that? Thank you. Um, but the problem is nobody wants quilt tops. Why am I so blurry? Am I blurry to everybody? I don't know, but nobody wants quilt tops and that's okay. I understand that. They want a fully automated quilt. Well, I don't know if I'm going to put this much work into it. I might as well finish it. I'm thinking, you know, just go grab a, a brand new sheet from Walmart and back it and be done with it. Um, you know, like a royal blue or something. Uh, I don't really want a white sheet because white just, you're having to wash white a lot. So maybe a royal blue or a gray or just something and then just go ahead and finish this quilt and then find a long armor because I sure as hell ain't about to try to do that on my machine. We all know how that goes. And I know everybody's saying, well, do quilt as you go. I've watched so many videos, I can't figure it out yet. I'm not, my brain has not made it to where it makes sense just yet. So at this time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, so. But I thought that was a great idea to do it like that. Cause it needs, it needs a little something. <gasps> what if I could do some of them Texas and then some of them the blue bonnets or little cowboy boots. I love my thinker sometimes. I don't know, I'm gonna just see what I can find in the download department of, of, you know, the files and see how much it'll be and then just maybe find a Texas theme pack where it has the maybe the flag, the boots, the state of Texas, the blue bonnets, something like that. And uh, But I've got to realize if I'm going to do this work, I'm going to have to finish it because that's the only way somebody's going to buy this. So it is what it is. Um, I started on, is this June's? Nope, we're at July. Started on July's. This one I actually like. Because... It's fairly simple, but it's barbecue. And I love me some barbecue. You know, so. I started it um, yesterday evening. I didn't get very far, but. I like that red. It really does pop. Their red's a little different, but that's because they are using geranium from gas threads. And I'm using, um. Uh, 326 so the other red that's really vibrant that looks like that is 666 or is it 333 
I don't know, it's a red, but it's beautiful. So, anyway, it's like a cherry red. Um, so, that's where I'm at right now for today. Uh, little Britches enjoy some breakfast. I made bacon and biscuits, and she likes bacon, but she didn't get a lot. She just got a little bit. Uh, she's not sure what human food is just yet. Uh-uh. No, ma'am, get out of that trash. You better get your bobo out of that trash. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good girl. Um, she's, she's still... Hey, that is my biscuit. Do not... No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That is mama's biscuit. That's mama's biscuit. Um, she's still learning that she cannot have everything that I'm eating or... Just because she's right now, she's trying to grab my biscuit, and that's a, a behavior that she can't keep doing. Um, she did while we were laying in bed. I was gonna take a nap, and that's a long way I can take a nap, so I put her in bed. Excuse me, hey, hi, you can't do that, no, ma'am. Um, I was gonna put her in bed with me. Well, she discovered the puppy in the mirror, and so Jesse, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Um, she discovered the puppy in the mirror. And so she had to bark at it, and nap was not happening. So it is what it is. But uh, she's getting all white. She's turning where she's all getting all white. Uh, let me see if I can. So, hey, that is Mama's biscuit. You 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 already had some of yours, okay? Yes. There's these things at Tractor Supply. She, Jesse, honey, look. That's my biscuit. You cannot eat that off the... No. Please go lay down. Um, she found... I found these at Tractor Supply for her. They're, they look like a Slim Jim, but they're harder. They're about this long, and you get them in deer, duck, or chicken, and she loves them. They're, they, and like I said, they look like a Slim Jim, but they're they're a little bit fatter, and they're only like a dollar ninety something. So, anytime I'm near a, a tractor supply where I can afford to get her one, I'm going to. Because she really likes those. I did get her. Excuse me, little one. I did get her this Nyla bone. Um, but she's not a fan of it. She wants something that she can eat or it come apart like a regular bone. She doesn't like this. She'll chew on it if she has to. Um, but she's not a fan. She's more of the treat kind of girl. Where she wants a, like a bone or that or that Slim Jim looking treat or something that she can eat or have payoff of it being destroyed. Um, so I'm going to have to research it because um, I know pig ears they should not be eaten. I did research that and, and it shows a very big do not feed your dog pig ears um, or they have some beef rib bones at Tractor Supply, but I have been told that bones splinter and could cause her to have some problems. And I don't want anything happening to her. So I'm trying to find a fine line of, okay, what can I give her that she can just chew and chew and chew and chew? And then what can I not give her? Um, so we're going to have to... Uh, is it next Monday? I think this coming Monday... I gotta go get her another shot, set of shots, um, at Tractor Supply, and she's gonna get a six-way this time, but, uh, it's just easier if I just go get her the shots and not have to pay a bet ridiculous amounts of fees, because shots are $11, 11 to $15, bets are 50 to $100, no thanks, so, anyway, she seems to be doing alright, though, she seems to... To, to be going good so anyway um i think sunday's mother's day so happy mother's day to those that are moms and fur moms and single moms and all the moms uh, i hope y'all have a good one and hopefully your state's open enough that you can have a, a nice little dinner texas is still partially closed the salons and the beauty parlors and all that opened up the bar, bar, the the bars are still closed. Um, the lakes are still kind of closed, and so it's kind of ugh. Because I want to be at the lake right now, but we can't because it's closed. So 
it is what it is. But uh, anyway, y'all take care, and I love y'all.